how do you feel about like the Denver hip hop scene? You feel like we've been growing as as a whole? I feel like y'all have y'all had it, but the promoters is having their way more than the artists because the artists still is in that bubble, whatever they not even a pride, I don't know. They they don't they they are dealing with their own pot their own stopping their self from growing now. That's what yeah. it is because the motherfucker brought the light and not me. There's other people in this world that have brought a light out here. They came and opened their eyes to see what's going on. Drake then gave y'all the alley you. Drake then told the whole world y'all had the baddest bitches, nigga. <laughs> no, that's that's the hottest, oh, nigga. <laughs> and the telling y'all y'all got the hottest bitches. So it's up there. <laughs> but it's like, bro, when it yeah, comes, he said that because he dissed us twice on the. So, nah, he said so that first, he yeah. So look, back. so look. He, nah, I think he said that before. This is a minute ago. So yeah, but he only came out here one time, and that was at Red Rocks. When he was so so look, trip, trip. Look, trip, trip. Like look about the music scene. But the music scene now here, the music scene now here, the promoters then became rappers out here. The promoters just throwing these shows and having more popping shows. There's yeah. girls out here that's throwing and having more emotion than the rappers is because the rappers yeah. either don't want to work with each other or they feel they are they they don't nobody. Oh, they don't want to pay me. No, that's the problem. If you want somebody to pay you, you just because a motherfucker ain't paying you, don't mean you ain't got y'all take from yourself for real. Me, I don't give a f if I got the bread, I'ma pay that. I'ma pay that man because I want to hear a song this song and I feel like it's gonna grow because I care about my craft. But out here, a motherfucker wanna do a song with you, but you tell them they gotta pay that that price. They wanna look at you like, oh no, nah, nigga. Just because your shit ain't getting bought don't mean the next nigga ain't paying me for features. Do you right. know I'm exactly. getting? So it's like when it buckle down, it all comes from a motherfucker taking from themselves because this shit can be. It's my coming out here for a reason. Y'all finna have a show out here. DW Flame coming out here. TZ, Pookie F and Rue throwing the show. Right. They don't even know the Pookie F and Rue, but Rue is. He throws the biggest shows in California. He throws the biggest shows. But that's what I'm saying. It's people that come out here that knows what's going on, but y'all be taken from yourself by not. Tapping in. That's it, bro. It's, it's not a game bang world, bro. It's really artists out here, and it's right. like everybody game bang. But that ain't the, that ain't what you gotta. That's you ain't gonna get noticed from that. You better put your flag in your pocket and get your ass up here and talk some money. No, Don't nobody want to give you no money because you know how to talk about some game banging shit. They want to. You gotta be a brand. You gotta let these people know that you're gonna make money with off the money they're gonna give you. Right. So when that shit comes to that, bro, people take from themselves. That's real. That's real. That's some solid advice. Speaking of which, like, what kind of advice would you give to an artist who's trying to get out the streets and shit? Who May only see that, do that it. one way, you know. Do what I'm it. Well, you know, you your only, you your biggest battle, you your biggest, you know, enemy, you your biggest motivation. So, if you're trying to get out the streets, it's hard to get out the streets, or it's hard to balance the two. Yeah. But once you pick your time to get out the streets and then go back at the same time and move your, you'll be all right. Trust me, you'll be all right. Don't let these niggas fool you. I was fooled for a minute. That's real. That shit. One piece of advice you give an artist now that you know what you know, given the past couple months and all the Invest in yourself. Like invest okay. in yourself. Save your money and invest in yourself. Pay for that studio time. Pay for that cameraman that's really doing, that cares about his craft. Right, right. Invest into the artist that's up there. Don't think that you just giving the next nigga some money. No, because somebody want to hear that shit. They tired of hearing you rap with the nigga from around the corner. Invest. Go holler at these niggas out here, bro. Uh, These niggas out here accepting this shit. That's real, that's real. Okay, after this interview, what's the first song or video they should check out? You can only name one. You should go, um, you should go check out, um, damn, you f***ed up with that. <laughs> after this interview, because I, like I said, I got the mixtape coming out. My mixtape should be up on the 26th. Like I said, how the f*** we not is dropping. It's up, it's, it's, it's up. Like I said, it's dropping on the 26th. How the f*** we not? I was working on the red bricks, but I had threw something in the way real quick so I can keep y'all, keep y'all, you feel me? Letting y'all know I'm working and shit like that. But how the f*** we not? That's my EP I'm dropping right now. It will be on all platforms. It's coming out February 26th. But oh, yeah. on YouTube, I just dropped a video called doing, um, what's it called? Doing Too Much. That's my last video I just dropped. It's called Doing Too Much. I got one with the homies out here. Me, EK, you feel me? Me, my nigga Hit a Brace, and uh, my little nigga TYG, Active King. You feel me? We yeah, got yeah. the song we just dropped called Pull Up. That shit out right now. Man, it's loads of shit. Just type in S K R A M Z. That's it. Just go fuck with me. If there is one artist, like all time, you could be on a song with, you could only pick one, who would it be? Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne? You answered that quick. That was easy. Lil Wayne. For sure. <laughs> Okay, if there's one, who's your like go athlete, like all time greatest athlete? Kobe. Kobe. 
Yeah. Kobe Bryant. But if we was talking like different sports, I'm gonna say Mike Tyson at, at the same time. Tyson. Okay. Are you feel me? If there was one song you could be on all time, shout out my boy Spare Springer. He's the one that gave me this idea. If there's one song you could be on, this song featuring Scrams, what song would it be? Lil Wayne, Sky's the Limit. Okay. That's a good one. Okay. Ooh, nigga! <laughs> you already know. That was a cold one. Oh, yeah. that, everybody who's watching this, you know what the fuck that song meant to us. Man, the Carter 3, nigga, you already know. That city was the fucking great. Hell yeah, man. All right, well, shit, I don't want to take up too much more of your time.